Yes. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Andrea Ragunath Gopal. I am one of the people who is on the board of directors of Let's Learn Golf Tobago. Very happy that you are here with us this evening. Our first item on the agenda is, I'm going to ask you to stand because we're gonna play the national anthem. If any of the kids know it and you want to sing along, please feel free to, you know it? Good. playing. Thank you very much. That rendition was done by musical extraordinaire Mr. Jared Balfour. Thank you very much. So the next item on our agenda is a tiny golf prayer. So can we bow our heads? Dear God, may each day be full of focus, birdies, and wisdom. May your ball love the fairway and the green and stay far from sand traps and water hazards. May every 18 holds give us a chance to embrace hard work, encourage friends, handle defeat, and celebrate victories. Amen. So very first on our agenda, we have, which one? She said that, Arifa, somebody that had to run away, this gentleman. Okay, he said he has a little extra time. So I want to invite the president of Let's Learn Golf Tobago to bring some greetings. She somewhere around yes yeah, this is her this is her but before she brings these greetings I wanted to say a little bit about the vision that she has this is a golf mom who has three of her kids involved in golf two at the national level when they were juniors and it is her vision to have players from Tobago, junior players, play in tournaments in Trinidad, in the Caribbean, and around the world. So how is she going to, I think I need to step up a little closer. How is she going to achieve that vision by this mission that she has of training and developing young golfers in Tobago so that we can increase the chances of you know getting Tobago golfers into the tournaments also a second part of the vision that is larger and more global is that she wants to encourage the playing of golf to become a sport attraction 
Sport tourism is what she would like to boost in the long run. When all of these players are playing and our beautiful golf course is developed, it's golf tourism is the big, is the other big goal. So I'm gonna give her a chance to greet you and welcome you. Arifa Bansal, please welcome her. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, children, especially a round of applause. You all look great in pink. I am very, I'm so elated to see you parents who have committed this afternoon in registering your children for this new junior golf program on the Republic Bank Limited the power to make a difference program. And they have a mantra, be the one to make the change. Let's give Republic a round of applause. I especially welcome, I'm seeing so many of you here, but as we got to a late start, as you know, women take long to put on their makeup. So I apologize. Um, as we go further into the program, We'll chat again later, but my duty here is to greet each and every one of you. Good afternoon, and thank you. Well, while you are here, Mrs. Bansal, I think you can take the opportunity to introduce the board of directors and the working team of Let's Learn Golf Tobago. On my right, we have Andrea Ragunath Gopal. Andrea is a guidance officer and a mental health professional. She's also heavily involved in a lot of charity work. And she hails from South Trinidad. And when I ask her to be part of this board, I just ask her, I just want you to say yes. Don't ask me any questions, and she did. So I salute her. Next on the board, we have Leanne Newalo. Can you step forward? Or oh, she can stand. Or if you can make yourself visible. Leanne is our hardworking secretary slash one of the directors. And Leanne is also hardworking behind the scenes. We have Camille McKechnie. Unfortunately, today they are launching jazz. A great time to clash with ours. So unfortunately, she could not be here. We have Chris Harris, former director of golf from the TTGA. He is not well. He could not make it. We have. Where is Dev Rampasad? Dev Rampasad, please stand. He is our volunteer graphic content creator and artist. His wife, they are the founders of Bob Gopi and Associates, accounting firm, chartered accountant. She is our treasurer. And his father-in-law is Bob Gopi, in case anyone have ever heard the name. So Shivanti Gopal is Dev's wife. Gopi Pasad, Ram Pasad, sorry. I also want to introduce Satish, if you see to my right. Satish has newly come on board. I actually kidnapped him from Tobago because he was doing two days of photography and I forced him to join the NGO. So he's here by force today. So from now on, when you want pictures, who do we call? Satish. Satish. So he is now added to our NGO. We have Azim Walters, criminal attorney. You don't want to hire him? <laughs> he is our, please stand. He is our legal officer slash assistant secretary to Leanne. If he starts speaking, we'll have to pay him by the hour, so we will not. We have David Paris. I call him the expat. David is back and forth. He's our assistant coach at the NGO. He assists in with Peter and together with Azim, who plays golf. And I should mention, Azif left the UK, came to Bego on holiday, loved to Bego, bought land, built a house, and resides here now. And the, I'm saving the best for last. Anybody can make a guess? Yes. Yeah. So the favorite person amongst all of us is Coach Peter Scorpion Lachman Singh. Where is he? 
I'll tell you a little story. We started this program August 2nd, 2021. And Peter was forced to move to Tobago. And since then, he has become a Tobagonian. And we have not charged parents for any golf since the inception of Let's Learn Golf Tobago. It's all done by coach free. And thankfully, Republic came on board now where we can get some dollars, where we can achieve more. Thank you all, and we'll continue with the program. Thank you very much, Arifa. I almost thought I had to start to pay her by the hour. You know. <laughs> um, next on the agenda, I would like to introduce our sponsors, Republic Bank Limited. We have with us this evening their representative, Mr. David Dillon. He's the operations manager in Tobago, and he's coming to bring some greetings. Thanks. Assistant Secretary for Sports and Youth Affairs, Mr. Wayne Clark. Let's Learn Golf Tobago President, Mrs. Arifa Bansal. TNT Golfers Association Tobago Coordinator, Mr. Warren Steele. Chief Sec Golf Tournament Organizer, Mr. Jeffrey Azar. General Manager of Magdalena Grand, Jason Martin. Head Coach, Peter Lachman Singh. Let's Learn Golf Team Organizers, Budden Junior Golfers, coaches, parents, members of the medias, and other supporters, good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to today's golf program. Republic Bank, through our power to make a difference program, is honored to be partnering with Let's Learn Golf Tobago. Specifically, through our power to succeed pillar, we are keen to support initiatives like this. Initiatives that foster the growth and development of our youth through sports, while also paving a path for increased representation of Tobago in the national golfing arena. We believe that by empowering you through avenues such as this, the results would redound to the benefit of yourselves, Tobago, and our nation as a whole. Junior golfers, I am excited to see where this takes you. Among us today is a future Chris Richards Jr. or Yi Lee. Some of you may even surpass the heights of Stephen Ames. You know, no pressure. I do highly encourage you to make note of these local golfing greats. You, you might think you cannot achieve such feats, but believe in each, but I believe in each and every one of you. And once you set your mind state, you might be surprised at just how far you can accomplish. Trust me, it's more than you think. Whether it remains a fun hobby, or who knows, competing on the PGA tournament one day, I look forward to seeing you mature, succeed, and eventually become mentors for your younger peers. Through this junior golf program, you would learn many valuable lessons. Not only the ins and outs of competitive golf, but also lessons for yourselves as individuals. That is respect, resilience, self-awareness, patience, and most importantly, to never stop learning, all while building self-esteem and confidence. I guarantee you that these skills can be easily applied elsewhere in everyday situations outside of golf. With that said, I would like to take this moment to recognize Let's Learn Golf Tobago for their continuous and tremendous efforts in making this a, a reality. And one that is inclusive at that. Thank you all for your hard work to ensure that everyone, irrespective of background, has the opportunity to experience the joys of golf and to learn the valuable life lessons. As this, is, as this is the start of our partnership, we greatly look forward to working with you in years to come. Of course, 
a special thanks to the coaches, the parents, and other supporters for making the decision to be part of this program, especially the parents. It is because of your encouragement and active support that we see our children in high spirits here today. And last but not least, thank you members of the media for being here and sharing the message that golf is indeed another viable avenue for development of youth through sports in both Trinidad and Tobago. For our part, Republic Bank, through our Power to Make a Difference program, will continue to give you our unwavering support to our nation's junior golfers. As we pursue and build successful, sustainable societies, it is our deepest hope that we make a real impact on promoting youth development in all spheres. In closing, I challenge you all to give your best shot in this program, and in most importantly, have fun. Best of, all, best of luck, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Dillon, for your kind remarks, your support, and most of all, your money. <laughs> Yes. So at this point, we were supposed to have some greetings from the office of the Chief Sec. I think uh, they were unavoidably um, absent for some reason. So next we have Mr. Wayne Clark, who is the Assistant Secretary of THA Sport Department. We'd like to invite him to come and bring some greetings. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon to the head table. I'll give a special good afternoon to that man with the tie. <laughs> and the man next to him, and the man next to him, and the man next to him. <laughs> so I want to say, you know, a pleasant good afternoon. And my job's so simple. When you speak after all these people, they don't leave much words for you. So you just got to use the few that they didn't lose <laughs> and just get on with it. I want to congratulate let's learn golf i want everybody to just give them a good round of applause because what they are doing is something rare I tell you probably the only pure thing we have left in this world is our children and if they are choosing to shape them in the way which they set out to do you know they they deserve applause every single day because it's indeed a sacrifice to be working with children. And they just use the magic word, eh? Because a lot of people claim to love the children, but they really ain't even coming out and stand up here with them for free to have a price to it. And I want you to give them another round of applause because much people don't put out their time, their effort for free. So I want to thank Republic Bank for seeing what they are seeing, to partner with them, to have this program. It's really, Republic Bank deserve a round of applause. <laughs> the children, the most important people in this whole program. Each and every one of you are special. And it's a victory in itself to come to programs like this and just have fun. In having fun, sometimes you don't know where you will end up. Just give it your all. Just have your fun. Just do the best you can. And that in itself is a victory. Continue to have fun. Continue parents. The parents have to have special you know, a special applause for the parents because it's by your sacrifice the children are out here. Because you could have found a hundred other places to be, but you choose to be here. So the parents, I think you deserve a round of applause. And each and every one who is a part of this organization, partnering with this organization to make this dream a reality, I want you to give yourself a round of applause and I want you to know that the THA stands, at the, of course, behind Republic Bank. <laughs> <laughs> to give you what support that we can give. You know, this is not my first time coming to 
Let's Learn Golf, any of their programs, I'm always here. So, um, you know, Ms. Arita, you could call on me at any time. Even if I don't have money, I still come in. I come faster with no money because you're lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank you for the opportunity to be here. I want to thank, you know, Republic Bank. I want to thank all the parents. I want to thank the officers in the organization. And just to tell you that I think that you have a very bright road ahead of you. You have all the success in front of you. Stay together. A lot, a lot of organizations rise up in Tobago and it just go off in mayhem. <laughs> I could say that for the Let's Learn Golf organization, they seem to be growing stronger every time. Every time I come to function with them, it seems to they take another step forward. And I want to congratulate them for that. All right, and want to just tell you again that I hope everybody have fun. The parents have fun in bringing the children. The children have fun while they're here. Republic Bank have fun in sponsoring. The THA have fun in being behind Republic Bank all the way. <laughs> and as much as we see the road to Let's Learn Golf, I want you also to turn around and see the road to Republic Bank. If we have all these children starting up some little thing there, I think they go sponsor again. So I want to thank you and hope that everybody have fun. You enjoy not only today, but the duration of this program. And I hope that the organization Let's Learn Golf grow from strength to strength. And indeed, I can say that the THA and Tobago as a whole are very proud of the children, the organizers, the parents. Tobago is proud of you. And I tell you, go forward and make us proud. I thank you. Thank you very much for those fun comments. <laughs> that was a recurring word. So as a mental health professional, I think that sometimes that is a word that people forget. As I visit students in schools, especially high-performing schools, the students are filled with anxiety because of the expectations placed on them by their parents, the, their schools, and even themselves. And always I have to be saying to the children, to the school administrators, balance. Fun has a purpose. It serves us well in our mental health. It is our avenue for de-stressing. And believe it or not, parents, when social scientists judge the level of stress that children have, it is higher than in adults. Adults usually think, oh, they are children. They can't have stress. They're not working. They don't have loans to pay. They don't have, but they do. Being out in nature, learning something, getting a walk, the physical exercise, it is good for their mental health. So thank you for that encouragement to have fun. I'm a fun person too. Okay, so very next we have um, Mr. Callum Sukur. He is the director of Golf Point Appear. So we want to invite him to bring some greetings and comments. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson, members of the head table, uh, the Tobago representative for the Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association, Dr. Warren Steele, parents, children, invited guests. Good afternoon, all. <clears throat> you know, I am very, very proud and pleased to have been given this invitation to be here this afternoon. You see, I have been playing golf for quite a while now, and I've been involved in the administration of golf for some time also. And part of my psyche and, and, and my intention is to ensure that the game of golf continues and perpetuates through, the, through time. And so children's golf 
junior golf is very, very close to my heart. And that is how I met Arifa Bansal. Now, by the way, I am the director of golf operations at the Point Pair Golf Club, but I am here on my own personal behalf. I was not sent by Point Pair Golf Club here. Um, I met Arifa some years ago when her eldest son was playing golf and he was competing and so on. And Arifa has always had this idea of developing golf in Tobago more so. I want to especially commend Arifa for her resilience and for, for her aptitude to continue with this program. I know that she has had challenges, um, money-wise money and otherwise, and she stuck through it, and, and it's very, very um, pleasing to see so many of you here today in this program. Um, I want to say a, a special thank you on behalf of golfers to the Republic Bank for their magnanimous gesture and their social corporate responsibility in, in um, funding this program. Thank you so very much, Republic Bank. Um, you know, also the management of Magdalena, because I mean, without Magdalena, we will not have this facility available for the kids to practice. I want to say to the kids, continue to give your best effort, persevere, and we have a mantra in point up here, we always say that somewhere out there is the next Steve Names. It could be somebody in Tobago. You know, <clears throat> Tobago has a very rich history of, of um, great golfers. You know, um, I can't remember all the names now, but I'm sure um, you, you all will know all the Tobagonians who, who have um, played golf. We even have uh, Dr. Warren Steele, who really wasn't from Tobago, but he came to Tobago where he represents Trinidad in golf too, eh? And he has a lot to offer to, to golf in Tobago. So with that, I want to say thank you. I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. I want to say congratulations to the parents of these kids. Please continue with the efforts because learning golf does not only teach your kids how to play golf. It teaches them discipline, self-respect. Teach them how to be, how to rely on themselves and so on. So, with that, I want to say thank you all, and I hand bike back over to the chairperson. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Warren Steele, who is the Tobago coordinator for Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association. Thank you. Good evening all. All protocols are observed. I would like to welcome uh, everyone here, uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association. I'm speaking on behalf of our president, Mr. Wayne Batiste, who asked me to speak on behalf of the association this evening. Uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association is very pleased to see what is happening with golf in Tobago, especially through Let's Learn Golf Tobago. The junior program here is exceptional, and the Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association is very encouraged in what it's seeing here um, on the island. The association main drive, obviously, is the development of golf in Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, the academies here are doing a wonderful job. Uh, we are in our efforts right now are uh, geared towards uh, having these uh, academies affiliated and associated with the association so that they can approach, you know, corporate um, entities like Republic Bank Limited for funding. Um, the TTGA 
is really um, in charge of uh, golf clubs that are associated with a golf course. Now, the scenario here right now with Magdalena is such that um, they've been gracious enough to give um, Let's Learn Golf Tobago the access and uh, the facility to use the golf course. Um, and that is, um, uh, you know, a super bonus because this game is, um, by all accounts and by uh, many golfers and many people who play the game, the greatest game to be played. And I say that because golf, unlike any other sport, first of all, is an individual sport. And secondly, um, it's a sport that um, requires so much life skills. Um, I'm glad we have a mental health coordinator here um, um, as part of the team. And, um, it, you know, I've played, uh, Mr. Suku got it a bit wrong, I represented in football. But um, uh, that, that being a team sport, uh, team sports tend to, you tend to, to be able to relax a little bit more in a team sport. You can rely on, 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 on teammates if you're, if you're not 100%, you can, uh, you know, make an excuse and uh, your teammate can, can fall in for you. But in golf, golf is a, an individual sport. And unlike other individual sports like tennis and badminton, um, which are, I consider, reactionary sports where there's a ball moving Golf is, is, is just the opposite. The, the, the ball is stationary and you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta make that ball move. And um, some of the skills involved would be, first of all, you know, you gotta, you gotta stand behind the ball, you gotta, you gotta pick your target, you gotta have a vision for the shot, how you're gonna achieve that shot what type of shot you're going to play, or you're going to have to take into consideration all the conditions. And then when you've made your mind up, you stand over that ball, you take one last look at the target, and you fire away. You have to have full commitment behind your shot. And if you're, if you're not fully committed, you're, the shot's not going to come off. And, you know, those are, those are the kind of skills that you require in life. All right? Um, you know, you've got to have a vision for where you want to go. Um, you got to have commitment. You got to have discipline, and um, it's 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 a it's a very very good sport as juniors. And I encourage you guys, on behalf of the association, to stick behind it. Um, we have a good team in Let's Learn Golf Tobago, and um, with the support of uh, Republic Bank Limited, uh, you know this program is uh, going to be off the charts. So, uh, on behalf of the association again, congratulations to Ms. Arifa Banzal and her team. And uh, we look forward to, again, uh, some national golfers coming out of Tobago. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Steele. At this time, we're going to change up a little. Uh, one of the things that Let's Learn Golf Tobago does is um, we try to reach people in different um, communities. And one of those communities is the Joy of Living Resource Center. So at this time, there are a couple of people I would like to invite. Uh, it's one of the teachers there, Miss Carla Carrington. And also, there's a parent and student, Molly and Mummy. Uh, can you come? You guys could all come together. And also, there's another parent, Marlon Benjamin. Arifa, I would let you say a little bit about this segment. You want to say anything? Carla Carrington, is she here? I would like to introduce you to one of my favorite kids, 
of Joy of Living. Say hi, Molly. Hi. So this is Molly. Molly loves coming out to golf. In fact, I shouldn't say anything. Let Molly tell you all. Go ahead, introduce yourself. You okay? I'm right here. Go ahead. I'm going to do it. You'll get so Molly around after the floor. Stay closer. Stand. Stop the area. I'm right here. So I'm right here. Mommy, you I'm don't go. Well, listen. I'll take over from here. She's yeah, on the course. It's my kid. Yeah, you go. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. I like girls. Cokes Peters. And do you enjoy golf, Molly? Yes. So you plan to come tomorrow because I have to be here when you are here? Yes. So we're going to come tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. You all want to come and see Molly play tomorrow? Yeah. She looks like a golfer? Yeah. She dressed like a golfer? Yeah. And who is my girl? Molly. Yay! Let's give Molly a round of applause. And I must commend her mom. So where's Tyler? Come on side by me. Right here. Right here. Tyler is her number one support with her Aunt Kerry. If you point your cameras there. She's a support to Mali, a support to Tyler. And we are grateful and we are always happy to have Mali and company and Joy of Living to our outreach program every Wednesday. What time, Mali? 10 13. Yay! So thank you very much. And I will pass on the mic to Tyler to say a few words. Me? She's shy. Your teacher is here. Go ahead. I don't know what to say. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. And thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, I want to thank you to Republic Bank for you know this amazing assistance on this journey. Um, thank you to Arifa for incorporating everyone in this amazing program so thank you so much guys don't cry right we don't have enough napkins <laughs> so a round of applause i'll work you thank you i think it's very important for us to see some of the people whom we serve you know where all the effort is going uh, is the Marlon Benjamin here? Is this Mr. Benjamin? So, I'm taking over Andrea's job. Is that okay? <laughs> so, this is Marlon B Benjamin, businessman. And I would like to show you a sweet, adorable child. So, if we look, let's find Jamal. Jamal cannot take noise. He is nonverbal, so we look on the range to your extreme left. He's in pink. Are you seeing him? So Marlon Sons, which is his name is Jamal, he don't like to miss a session, but he looks forward every time on a Wednesday. When is my dad coming? <laughs> so sometimes I wonder who is the kid. So let me pass on the mic to Marlon. Uh, good afternoon. Head tables, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, media. I'm here this afternoon as a parent to share my experience of Let's Play Golf. Uh, my son Jamal started this program about uh, a year. Um, thank you very much. This weekly session provide him with an uh, opportunity for him to interact, socialize, outside the boundary of his classroom. If anybody knows Jamal, Jamal always loves indoor. Always. So with this um, Let's Golf Play Tobago program, I was so excited to get Jamal involved in this program. Um, one thing I must say, I have noticed, he loves the outdoor now. Every time you miss Jamal, Jamal's outdoor. We always have to keep an eye on Jamal now. He love outdoor. Also, we have noticed that with this program is motto skill, also his physical muscle strength has improved and his coordination has improved a lot. 
As a parent, I know sometimes our busy schedule or work commitment, myself, can make it difficult to attend with him sometime. But I have to make the effort because you always look forward. As one of the coach was mentioned to me once, you always perform better when his dad are wrong. Always. And on days when I'm not around, you will keep looking to see where I am. Always looking. We always do things together, always. From tennis, swimming, we always do things together. So my advice this afternoon to parents is to, sometimes we have to make the extra effort to be there for our kids. They love to see us, to cheer them on, tap them on the back. They love it. Um, for instance, what I like most about Jamal, he always like to try stuff, always. But the dad have to be present. It's, sometimes it could be a strain on myself, but it's also fun for me because I enjoy the golf also. I learn a lot, and maybe who knows? Maybe in the near future, I might be a golfer. <laughs> who knows? I want to recognize all the person coaches who work with Jamal and thank them for their um, commitment and patience. They really do a good job. They really do a good job. Also, let me take this opportunity to thank Let Play Golf Tobago for this program. I look forward for them to continue as we work together to develop our kids. Was that? Republic. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, how could I forget Republic Bank? <laughs> how could I Republic? Thank you, Republic Bank, for your support. And the GM. And also the secretary, assistant secretary for, um, because I listened to you a while ago, you always take in the, the back. So I'm putting you in front, <laughs> close to Republic Bank, side by side. We could make it happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think from that little speech, we could understand a parent's heart, especially, you know, when you have a child that is differently abled. You really need the programs that can help to enhance the development of your child. One of the things I picked up in your speech, Mr. Benjamin, is the parental support, how much it means to children. I remember when I was a child performing on stage, there were times my dad was not there and I wished that he could see me in all my glory as I sang and acted and whatever. It's just, we, we like that as children. So parents, just a little encouragement. It makes them feel secure. It increases the bond with you and your child. And as um, Mr. Benjamin said, his son played better when he was around. So thank you very much, Mr. Benjamin. So at this time, I want to invite Mr. Jeffrey Azar like we caught you there in the middle of a nap, Mr. Azar. <laughs> he, is, um, he is the organizer of the annual Chief Sec Tournament Golf. It's a charity tournament. And he was very gracious to give Let's Learn Golf the opportunity to have a children's tournament within their tournament. So we're very grateful for that opportunity and his support. Mr. Azar. Thank you. Afternoon, everyone. I'm not going to be long. I was asked just to say a few words. I'm counting. You're counting. <laughs> Honored guests, Mr. Wayne Clark, Assistant Secretary, all protocols observed. Special to Mr. Martin. Senior golfers, kids, all those enthusiasts of golf. It is a pleasure for me. I've been running the Chief Sex Tournament for 20 years and 
to see what I'm seeing in the last year with Arifa and the kids, at least we could see a future. Because, sorry to say, but we are dying out. The old people they have long again. And it's nice to see the kids come and take part to move on. I've been asked to say a few words, so I'll say it. This year, we are honored to have you again, Arifa, if you're coming in. We will make sure that we make ample room for you this year. And Mr. Martin will, of course, help us in that field. Two words why I keep mentioning Mr. Martin. He went out of his way this year I met him for the first time, and he's doing his best for golf to stay alive. Because from the big boys, they wanted to keep raising and raising the prices. But you're beating a dead horse. We have to understand, guys, what we have to work with. And it's not easy. Uh, we're doing our best. And Mr. Martin has pulled us out of the doldrums from what, what we were facing this year. And I do hope, for all of our sakes, that it continues. Yes, we golf is an expensive sport. We know that. But we have Republic Bank there. We have Caribbean Airlines. We have all the banks, actually, but in particular, Republic is very close to me. Well, I think everyone knows why. <laughs> I'm glad to see what's going on here because I might get a little extra this year. You know the golf fees has increased a little. Not much. But I'm sure you'll take care of us. But people, uh, I spoke to a, a director of the, the Joy of Living just now and I've asked her to send a letter we, we have monies from the tournament last year and no one is asking for it. I didn't get it. Yeah, we sent it. I have it right now. I'll well, I didn't get the letter but we have monies to give out and I have not given the Chief Sec any inclination because I have no, no nothing on the table. So I'm hoping if you have it, Arifa, please send it. Right. And he will have two to choose from now. But I'm sure the, the, the charity might get it first. <laughs> but we will see. But people, I, I am honored to be here. And, and to see what I'm seeing, as I said before, I'm very, very proud to be here. And, and I do hope that things increase. I do hope that the other junior clubs join try their best to join and put everything under one umbrella, a, a, a special unity. And that's the prayer I will ask for. Let's see everybody together, whether it is three, whether it is four junior clubs, let's get together and put everybody under one umbrella. Thank you all very much. God bless. Thank you very much, Mr. Azar, for somebody who didn't, he, who was counting his words. He ended up, um, he, he, was, he got into it eventually. You know, as he was talking, I realized he said something that only someone who is, has moved into their senior years would say, which is, we're not gonna be here forever and we need to plant into the future. Because sometimes when we are in the prime of our life, we, we feel invincible, like we're gonna be here forever. But then after a certain age, you realize you on, we are on our way out and we need to develop the young ones. So that's why you are here today. So I like, to invite, to say a few words and to thank from the bottom of our hearts 
the manager of the Magdalena Golf and Beach Resort. Magdalena Beach and Gulf Resort, and I want to invite him to come and say a few words. We really, really appreciate this gesture. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> My friend is so excited. Guys, this is Mr. Jason Martin, the new GM, and I think he's going to be a great GM because he's going to help Let's Learn Golf Tobago. So I'm officially introducing Jason Martin. Round of applause. <laughs> Thank you again. But before I be GM, let me be a little parent. So I was sitting here and I heard a few advice and comments from the general population, and I could relate it. Um, I've been a member of the PTA, I've been a member of a cadet group, I've been a member of a football group, and usually in these organizations, the stress is on the top tier, but it's always motivational when the parents are there to give that support. It's like rowing a boot. When all hands on deck, it gets a little easier. And I would like to say to the parents and the kids, yes, we are aware golf is an expensive sport, but that's why the stakeholders are here to bring some balance. Whatever your dream is, big dream or small dream, it will require effort. And you must focus on that effort to see it through. So I'll be the GM now. <laughs> I 
All right, so good evening again to the Office of the Chief Secretary, um, Assistant Chief Secretary of Sport, Mr. Wayne Clark, the President of the Let's Learn Gulf Tobago, Ms. Arifa Banzel, the Chief Sec Tournament Organizer, Mr. Jeffrey Alza, RBL sponsor, David Dillon, other invited guests, parents, media. Welcome. Republic, yes, we have been in partnership with them a few years too. But we have one thing ahead of them. We have been with the club in the beginning. <laughs> and we will see you through to the end. <laughs> All right. So my name is Jason Martin, and welcome to the Tobago Plantation Golf Course. The Magina Grand Hotel has been managing the golf course on a lease arrangement and has commenced a restoration program over the last two years. The golf course and environs has improved and looks beautiful. True? Yeah. All right. And I was exceptionally happy for the great weather today to host this outdoor event. In partnership with Let's Learn Golf, the Magina Grand Beach and Golf Resort has been a stakeholder in the development of the club and sports tourism. The education of our children is not only fostered within the walls of a classroom, but through teamwork activities and collaboration on the field through sports. We hope that our role will make a solid contribution to this initiative and to the development of its participants. We wish to recognize and commend Ms. Banzel and her team for their dedication and commitment over the years. We also wish to thank all the sponsors and stakeholders for their commitment to this club. We, the Magina Grand team, aim to contribute and be of good service to your club and the wider community. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. We so much appreciate it. You know, the offer was first given to, before it was even Let's Learn Golf Ego, for Arifa. She had expressed her desire to develop young people in the sport of golf, and your predecessor had, you know, um, given us that permission to use the golf course. We so much appreciate it. So at this time, I would like to invite two of our students, Milan and Alexi, can you come? And we want to invite our coach, Mr. Peter Lachman Singh, to come to the front. So, Coach, the children love you, and these are two of the tiny tuts, and they want to give you this token from us, appreciation. The bag is almost bigger than them. You could give Coach a little hug if you want. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I would like to say something. Of course, of course, madam. On behalf of all the children, I would like to say thank you for keeping Coach Peter and letting him enjoy golf with these children that love to learn golf at Let's Learn Golf Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Lex, you want to say anything? Just say thank you, coach. Say thank you. Thank you, coach. Thank you. <laughs> we have a politician there, boy, or a lawyer or something there. Yes, coach, you want to say a few words? Please. Good afternoon, everyone. I must say. I, am, I appreciate this very much for what Republic Bank is doing for us. 
and I hope they will continue because I am going to prove to them that we can have Tiger Woods, Stephen Names, and many more uh, good, good golfers coming out of that group. So he, they, have a, they have a challenge in their hand to make sure those kids stay alive. Thank you. Thank you. So I was sent some video footage. Uh, I think it was last week. It was Coach's birthday. And um, I saw that he had a very special guest um, in the person of one of his students. Want to tell us about his student who had some sterling words to say at his birthday. Last Saturday, unknown to Coach Peter, I communicated with the Chief Justice Ivor Archie. And he is very close to Coach. And we planned a surprise for him. I told him what was the intention, what was um, the present that I had in mind. He said, Arifa, I will get that. You don't worry. He did. He came. Coach came through and was so surprised. We had a beautiful breakfast. And we invited women. Coach loves to be a wrong woman. <laughs> Arifa, you're selling out. See how happy Coach is when I say that word? Look at him smile. So we had a beautiful breakfast. We had a surprise for him. He was emotional because in our eyes, he is, and I'll say it, the best coach in Trinidad and Tobago. And I salute you. And it was very nice and commendable that Chief Justice Ivor Archie only came because of Peter's birthday. Thank you. Yes, the Chief Justice is a student of Coach Peter. I think um, Arifa is writing something there for me. You better say whatever. Yes. I would like to call on Miss Sandra O oh, in the Division of Tourism. Miss Sandra O, oh, can you come forward? I'm not sure if you all know what is happening in Germany, but we have representatives from that department who are in Germany at this time and was not able to come. So we ask her to say a few words. This is Miss Sandra O. Oh. I'm one of my customers. <laughs> ah, good afternoon, everyone. Um, members of the head table, all protocols observed. I was asked to come here this afternoon, but I was told that I wasn't, I'm not supposed to speak. But if I'm called on to speak, I know that my secretary would expect me to do that. I'm Sandra O. Tony. I'm the program coordinator at the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities, and Transportation, with the responsibility for program planning, community tourism, and the tourism's youth program. I was asked by the administrator of the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities, and Transportation to come here this afternoon. And I know that it was on a request from the chief administrator who represents the Chief Secretary, Mr. Farley Augustine. So I am actually here representing the THA, as well as, along with Mr., I think he left. I'm not seeing him, the Assistant Secretary. So I think I got a, lot, a little peeved when I heard that the THA was unavoid, uh, unavoidably absent. I took offense to that because I know that I made a lot of effort to be here this afternoon. So I would like to say thank you for having me here. I would also like to say my presence here is not just to sit, but to sit and observe. And I am very, very elated about this program. I know that the Division of Tourism supports sports tourism. I am also part of the committee that sits on applications by community groups, organizations, sports organizations for assistance. So I'm just informing the committee here that there's a facility where you could apply to the tourism division to get funding and assistance for your program. 
One thing I want to leave here is that the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation, we have a very, very vibrant youth program. We work with primary schools, we work with secondary schools. I don't know how many people know about the tourism youth clubs in schools throughout the island. And we have been doing a lot of work. We also have a very inclusive program. We include the differently able as well. If you go on our Facebook page, you would see we donated um, wheelchairs to the differently abled. We do hampers at Christmas, and that is the youth club that does that. Under my leadership, of course, I'm going to take my kudos here this afternoon because I love youth work. I've been doing it for years. I work with women also. And when I see things I did this evening, I came here and I, and I didn't want to stay because I said, wow. I didn't have enough information. I felt I was overdressed. I could have come in my sneaker and my track pants. So I felt a little kind of, I don't want to say it would, but I did come and I stayed because when I saw the children, I know that I have to be here. Maybe it was God, it was destined that way that my secretary and the chief secretary is in Germany on a tourism mission, marketing this island to get tourists to come here. And everybody benefits when that happens. So. As I said before, they are not absent, but they are out doing the, the island's work and by extension, the country's work. So I thank you again for having me. And I am at tourism, I am a phone call away because this lovely lady here knows me. And I could be called anytime I would like, if you all want, we could come and do something on tourism with, the, with kids. We, as I said, we have a lovely program on. So just say the word and we will be here to work with you and support you. I am very glad that Mr. Jason is here because I would like to speak with him also because, <laughs> because we also partner with the Magdalena Grand to host some of our programs. So I, I, I think I'm here by, by God. I'm supposed to be here. You don't think so? Yes, yes I think so. So... Things, good things happening this afternoon. And as I said, we need to, you, know, you all need to partner with our youth program that we have at Tourism. And we could have a beautiful, beautiful time. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, it seems like your being here was God ordained. You've got to make all your contacts that you wanted to make. We're very happy for your presence. So at this time, I'm going to turn over to Arifa because we would like to invite you. She would give directions uh, where we would actually be moving. And our sponsor, Republic Bank, and their representative, Mr. David Dillon, he will be doing a tee off. So we're going over to the Gulf. So before we move over to the range area, I need to take this opportunity because of daylight. So I'm going to fast track and conclude this program. Well, not the picture part, but just the thanks. The thanks. Okay. Firstly, Mr. Jason Martin, Magdalena Grand Beach and Golf Resort General Manager. Mr. Jared Balfour, where are you? Extraordinary Tobagonian, music composer, and so much more. I don't have enough time to say it all. <laughs> we have Mr. Jeffrey Azar. Now, I hope some of you all taped his conversations or videotaped. He did say we can apply for funding. He still has money, right? So we are saying this live, so you'll get a letter before 12 tonight. We're going to thank Mr. David Dillon, Operations Manager at Republic Bank. Power to make a difference. Be the one to make the change. That's the mantra of Republic Bank. Am I right? You can hire me for PRO. We have Mr. Clark who has just left. We have Mr. Kalam Sukur who came on a personal invite and he helped me erect the Republic flags. 
He assisted in much more. Mr. Kalamstan, thank you very much. We have Dr. Warren Steele, the representative, the Tobago coordinator for the TTGA. And what TTGA stands for, it's the governing body of the Trinidad and Tobago Golf Association. We have a guest here. Did he leave? Gerald Darlington. Okay, he probably had to go. He is a member of SHAG and he visited and he stayed for most of our program. Coach Peter, thank you for coming and being part. And you are, what, what can I say, the center of attraction. <laughs> Joy of living. Juliet Almandos and I meet every Wednesday. We are happy. She calls it Arifa. That's the height of my weekday because we chat. So Juliet is a treasurer. And Juliet and I go back, way back. So thank you, Juliet. Thank you, Joy of Living. Thank you, kids. Did I forget out anybody? I'm too excited here. So I want to thank everyone. I want to thank the parents in particular. All these children were in pink. Put up, let, let me see you. The parents put up your hands. All the kids. I need to thank a special friend of mine, Kerry Porter, Tobago Channel 5, cameraman, a man of, what, a jack of trade? Jack of all, jack of all trades. He was super nice. He's always there when I need help, and he's always there to assist. Let's Learn Golf Tobago. Miss Budan from Guardian Media. We have to thank um, the media, especially. We have TTT. We have um, anybody else from any other media house? If not, I'll just say it, Newsday. They're not here, but I just like to say it. So uh, we have Camille Ali. Mr. Ali, come forward, please, for a sec. Who knows Camille Ali? He is the manager of Blue Horizon Resort. He is the main man we call at the master. That's the boss. He runs the show. He wears many hats. He's the coordinator of our masjid. Mr. Ali does community work 24 hours. I must commend him. He has stand with Let's Learn Golf Tobago from the inception. And he likes behind the scenes. Mr. Ali, assalamu alaikum. And thank you for coming and always supporting Let's Learn Golf Tobago. So let's get a pick with you and one of the directors here. Oh, yes, it's only pick. And let me just give him the mic for a few seconds. I'm counting. All right. Members of the head table, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we give praise and thanks to God. Without your permission, we would not have been here today, and this would have not been possible. We thank him and we praise him. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I look at the youth today. You are the future of our nation. What is happening in society today is there is a decay in our society. Look at what happens, is happening in Trinidad. Last year, 600 murders. This year, we're in the third month, over 100 and something murder. We are very fortunate to be living in a beautiful place like, like Tobago. If we look around, it's like we are in Miami. And we must be thankful to be blessed to be living here. What I want to say to you all is there is hope. What you have to do, you have to strive for excellence, work hard, and always believe in yourself that good things are in store for you. Work hard. What I would like to say also is congratulations to Arifa on this foundation, because this is what you need foundation like these to help our youths so that they can keep away from crime, they can be a part of the society, and they can be the future of our nation. Also to the Republic Bank, it is indeed an honor for you all to support this foundation in the monetary fund because this is important. Uh, my good friend um, who from THA left, I know he was backing out a bit with regards to funding, but THA needs to get on board more and more because he have, this is part of the society and they need to build this foundation. So once again, God bless you. You are the future of our nation. Strive hard, work hard, look towards the future. You have great things in store for you and always keep God first. Thank you. Now I would like to call Abdul. Abdul, you and Mr. David Dillon of Republic Bank. Abdul is from, come on Abdul. Abdul, Abdul is from the joy of living. And we had selected this child. He's our best, should I say, long, long coach? Long drive? Right. So you are going to be teeing off with the operations manager. Make sure you get good picks, right? So your mom can see it. So as we move towards the range area, I ask that the children please go in an orderly manner. And we start now. Thank you, everyone. And please follow. We'll come back. Yes. So I will follow, please. OK, let's cut the ribbon first before we move to the range. OK. Okay. 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 Okay.
Kalanti. The Kalanti and Kalanti. But this really the Kenneth. But we are getting more important to the people. We are trying to keep going there. We are going to run. 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 Yeah. Sit down here. I don't believe that. Yeah. Foreigners, when they come in, they're only from Japan. Yeah. So you need bigger pots, and you need proper people. All the landscapers, for these two, tell them to. Because they tell them to have some stuff. They have to do it. They have to do it. I've walked here day and night. They have more light than just on the night. Well, here's the center of attraction for every golfer that goes out. Yeah. Especially for her. Look yeah. at it. Did they take a picture of that Jason? Yeah. Is that she? Yeah. Well, so much to be done, but we're getting it done slowly but surely. Well, I... Beep. Ah, 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 ah,